Across the Mideast, Muslims are demanding a clear apology from the Pope for his remarks on Islam. Pope Benedict XVI says he's sorry some have taken offense to the medieval text he cited last week. But several Islamic leaders and a lot of protesters want more, especially in Turkey, where the Pope is set to visit next month. There, one banner read, quote, either apologize or don't come. Some protesters are even demanding the Pope be arrested if he does make the visit. What should the pontiff do? With me now, National Director of the Muslim Public Affairs Council, Ahmed Yunus, and also live from Rome is Fox News Channel contributor, Father Jonathan Morris. So Ahmed, what more uh, does the Muslim world want out of the Pope? Uh, well, I think the vast majority of the Muslim world, the people that we're not seeing on TV, the people that are at the grassroots arguing against extremism, want to see an honest and earnest engagement that's substantive between Catholics uh, and their leadership and Muslims globally, both in the West and in the Muslim world. I don't think this is a matter of apologies. If the Pope is looking to the people on TV that are burning and rioting and protesting as a gauge for what the vast majority of Muslims believe, then he's mistaken and the people that are advising him are mistaken. Uh, uh, Padre Morris, uh, is the Pope uh, planning to issue something more of an apology that is more clear? I don't think so. Remember that he's a German intellectual, John. He's as precise as you get. Let me take up what Ahmed said there. The fact that he and I can have this discussion, this dialogue, and that it can be honest, as he said, is because we believe in certain basic principles, and that is that violence is never an acceptable part of discussion. Absolutely. Of we, bo we, bo and we both absolutely agree on that principle. Well, Ahmed, then, but uh, let me, Ahmed, let me let say me, let me what I've been something. very, very, very uh, worried about, John, I'm sorry to interrupt you there, is that coming out of the Muslim institutions in the Middle East right now, all we hear is condemnation of the Pope. But we never have heard anybody taking up his central thesis that is religion and violence just don't mix. Ahmed, let me show you. Now, I understand that this is not coming from a moderate Muslim, but do we get this statement today from the Shura Council uh, of, uh, in Iraq, yeah. uh, the uh, Mujahideen Shura Council, which is essentially al-Qaeda in Iraq. You infidels and, de and despots, we will continue our jihad and never stop until God avails us to chop your necks and yeah. raise the fluttering banner of monotheism when God rule is established governing all people and nations. If that is a statement coming from a Muslim, shouldn't I expect Muslim moderates to condemn it? You absolutely should. And Muslim moderates have an obligation from the Quran and the tradition of the Prophet to condemn that type of stuff. But it's very important to analyze it within the context of the war on terror. The Mujahideen, the terrorists, the people that I would rather not call Mujahideen because they are not engaging in a jihad, they're engaging in terrorism. These people have a worldview of a clash of civilizations. And the Pope's mistake, and it was a mistake, it was not an intentional act according to what we